because today people who live and work on the border every single day are about to testify before the House Homeland Security Committee. The hearing will focus on the response from the Biden-Harris administration to the ongoing border crisis. Republicans are expected to scrutinize Vice President Kamala Harris's role as border czar. And joining me now is Congressman Mark Green of Tennessee, chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee. Um, Congressman, good morning to you. I know you'll have folks flying in from near and far, like the San Diego County supervisor that you're going to hear from. What do you hope to hear from these border residents today? Well, our goal today, and you know, we've got not only the county supervisor, we've got a sector chief uh, who just recently retired, uh, and we've got uh, Miss Morin, the the young mom who lost her daughter uh, to a uh, a gang member, a, a person who came across as a known gotaway. So we're going to get very emotional today and just repaint the picture of what's been going on under this, uh, you know, Kamala Harris, the border czar, uh, Mayorkas, the secretary of Homeland Security, their, their border crisis. And we're going to sort of put all the threads of this together, revisiting the investigation we did earlier that resulted in his impeachment, but updating the numbers. Because uh, since that time, we've had, you know, it's now, it's looking like it might be 12 million people by the end of this year wow. under wow. this president. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. it's astronomical. Um, and speaking of president, of, of course, we have 48 days left till November. And right now, it really seems like anybody's game. This could be a toss up. Um, yeah. And there's a good chance Kamala Harris wins. If she stays in the White House, does today's hearing really evoke much good or much change if she stays put? Well, there's a very real possibility that w as we inform the American people what's going on, mm -hmm. and that's sort of been the goal of our oversight is to just educate the American people on the damage, both the financial costs and the human costs of this border crisis. We hope that that will change the policies of whomever is in office. So if let's assume for a second that the Democrats win, I don't think they are, but it, let's assume for a second they do. Let's hope that informed Americans continue to get louder. I mean, the, the polls are pretty clear. Like 70% of Americans see this as a, a major crisis and harmful to the country. So it, let's get louder, let's inform the American people, and whomever's in office, let's hope they do something different. Yeah, and immigration certainly is Trump's X factor, if, if you will, in, in his campaigning. Uh, but what are the odds that we see any sort of tangible legislation or, or change before we get a new president come January? I don't think you'll see any immigration policy change or you know, legislation. We passed H.R. 2 over a year ago. And uh, Chuck Schumer has this, let it sit on his desk. It's a very good bill. If they wanted to do anything, they could take it to their committee, amend it to make it work for them. And then we go to conference committee and try to work it out. But they have moved zero on that. They came up with their own version of it, which they, they basically made a political game out of. It was a terrible bill. I mean, it was going to allow a certain number of like five or 10,000 a day, something like that. Um, that that's not uh, fixing the problem. It's, it's only making it worse. And so um, I don't think you're going to see anything between now and, and okay. the inauguration. Yeah, uh, yeah, good to know, uh, especially for all the viewers watching. Um, I know you have a lot of people uh, who are about to share their testimonies today. And uh, Congressman Mark Green, thank you for joining me. Please get us posted you. how it goes. We'll be listening in. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.